And so they give us this beautiful explicit formula here. And it's explicit because we can find whatever we want right away. So if I want a sub 39, if I want the 39th term, I just plug in 39 for n and voila, I get my term. If I punch that in on my calculator, I'll get that the 39th term is 329. Teta. Um, so we got that right away. We don't know anything. We just plug it in. We're awesome. Uh, they want to know what the common difference was. So I can tell just by looking that my common difference is 8. I recognize that my common difference is the same thing as the slope, basically. Uh, so arithmetic sequences and uh, linear functions are basically the same thing, except arithmetic sequences, your domain is restricted to first term, second term, third term, where linear functions you are not. So when they teach this, it feels like you're learning a whole separate thing. Oh, but you're, but you're not. They're just y equals uh, mx plus b. <laughs> and they're just naming things in different ways. Joy. Um, but if you didn't know that, you're always welcome to just play with the series and see what's happening, right? Like I could find my first term by plugging in 1. So 17 plus 8 times 1 is 25. And I could get my second term by plugging in 2. So that'll be uh, 30, 16 plus 17 is 33. And I could get my third term by plugging in 3. And I'll get 41. And you see that you are indeed adding 8 every time, right? Adding another 8 every time. So that common difference is 8. So the last thing they want you to do is write a recursive formula. And people are like, oh my god, recursive, what's that? Um, it's actually very intuitive. It's what we see when we see the, the series, right? When you see, oh, I'm adding 8 every time, that's how we describe this series. We are getting any term we want by taking the term before it and adding 8. So that a sub n minus 1 is basically the previous term, not the term you're on now, but the term you're on before. Not the third term, but the second term, right? And adding 8. So that's always going to be the um, template for arithmetic recursive series. You're going to have this a sub n minus 1 and then plus or minus whatever your common difference is. Uh, and then Recursive formulas always have two pieces because you have to tell them where to start. So you just say, oh, start with your first term. Your first term was a 25, right? When you plug in a 1, you get a 25. And so those two ideas put together uh, make up a recursive formula that describe the series. Now, even though it's super intuitive, like, oh, I'm adding 8, it's not super helpful. Like if I wanted the 39th term and I only had this recursive thing, I'd be like, okay, yeah, to get the 39th term, I would take the 38th term and add 8. Well, that's wonderful if you had the 38th term, but if you don't, it's like, okay, I'm going to get the 38th term by taking the 37th term and adding 8. So it's to, to actually figure out things, it's not super useful. Uh, but to describe things, it, it is. So Recursive just means it's based off the terms, the preceding terms, the terms before. So there you go.